IKEA have been quietly carving out quite a reputation for themselves over recent years, making great looking SUVs and quite stylish super minis. But success in Europe in the saloon market has evaded them and they're hoping to change all that with this, the Skoda Superb Ford Mondeo rivaling Optima. Buyers in this corner of the market are spoilt for choice and a car needs to be pretty special to woo them away from the class leaders. So the Optima has its work cut out for it. When it comes to how it looks, well, it's off to a positive start, with strong lines and that distinctive Kia nose helping it to stand out. But things do take a bit of a nosedive once you get inside. Look, there's no denying the fact that this is solid, it's well built, there's good adjustment in the seat and in the steering wheel, but it's just a really uninspiring place to be. It feels quite dated and it's dominated by black. It's just everywhere. And you know, that is such a shame because buyers in this corner of the market spend a lot of time sat in here driving and they just deserve a nicer place to sit than this. One thing they won't complain about though is the amount of equipment that you get. Kia helpfully labelled the trim levels on their cars from one through to four. Entry level on the Optima is a two and comes with 17 inch alloy wheels, air conditioning, a seven inch touchscreen sat nav, electronic stability control, hill start assistance, a Bluetooth connection with voice recognition, LED daytime running lights and rear fog lights all fitted as standard. While this model, the Optima 3, gets an upgraded stereo, lane assist, a larger touchscreen and chunkier alloy wheels. You know, life is all about compromise, isn't it? And it's a real trade-off in here. Okay, it's not the most inspiring place to be, but you get lots of things that other manufacturers would charge you extra for. And it's also pretty practical as well. You've got an excellent size glove box, which is also cooled. Um, central cubby hole there underneath the armrest. A couple of storage areas, two cup holders. If I'm being really picky, I would say that the cup holders are a little bit small and there's not much room down here in the door bins. But overall, in terms of practicality, it absolutely hits the mark. Now, when it comes to space, both front and back seat passengers have got stacks of it. There's good headroom back here, plenty of leg room. You also get two all important Isofix child seat points and a couple of storage areas here on the back of the seat. The door bins in the back, like the ones in the front, they're a little bit small, but overall it's a comfortable place to be. And the boot is a good size too. Out on the road, it's a fairly relaxing and comfortable drive. The Optima comes with just one engine, a 1.7 litre diesel, although a sporty 2 litre turbo petrol version does arrive later in 2016. Now the Optima 3, which is this, comes with a choice of 6-speed manual or 7-speed automatic box. I've got the manual, which obviously means better fuel economy. Kia claim it'll do around 67 miles to the gallon, although I've been averaging just 47. There's plenty of power available right throughout the gears, even in six, and it handles well. It's got good grip, minimal body roll through the corners. But my biggest gripe is the steering. It's just too light. And while that's fine driving around town, and in fact, to be honest, it makes parking really easy, it begins to feel a little vague at higher speeds. Another issue for me is noise. It's a rattly diesel engine, particularly when you get your foot down. And there's also a bit too much vibration coming through to the steering wheel for my liking. And it does something else that I find slightly irritating. Probably quite unreasonably so. Every time you turn it on or off, you get a little accompaniment. Now, whilst I'm having a moan, let me talk about the price. I just don't think it's competitive enough. This costs more than a Skoda Superb. And whilst it does come with Kia's amazing seven year warranty, I'm not sure that the Optima is special enough to woo buyers away from the competition. If you're in the market for a saloon car like the Kia Optima, then check out our review of the Ford Mondeo by clicking the video window on the left or on the right, you'll find the Skoda Superb. Click the play icon for our latest video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.